Today I've got a rant and a rave about a problem we have in Orlando's job sector and a solution in the works for this problem. First of all, I was stunned by this report that is out that in terms of developing science, technology, engineering, and math jobs, good paying jobs called STEM jobs, Orlando ranks a woeful 86 out of 100 metropolitan areas in this country. We are never going to have a truly vibrant economy here in the Orlando area unless we get beyond just employing people in low-paying service jobs. We need to have that. The tourist industry, of course. But we need to be better than that. We need to be more diverse than that. And we need more good-paying jobs. Science, technology, engineering, and math. STEM jobs. And all of a sudden comes this program that has been announced at the Orlando Library in the main branch downtown in which they're going to clear all of the books out of the second floor, put them up on the third and the fourth floor, and they're going to create the new Melrose Center for Technology, Innovation, and Creativity. And there, among other things, they are going to create training programs for STEM jobs. This is terrific. And it's all possible because of a $1 million donation by former Orlando resident Ken Melrose, who uh, went to Boone High School, lived here when he was much younger, now lives elsewhere in the country. But he has donated $1 million for this program and this facility at the Central Library in downtown Orlando. And I think it is just a fantastic development, and I can't wait to see it unfold. That's what I think. What do you think? Join me for the next edition of Bud Hedinger Live right here on the 50,000-watt front porch here on FM 104.5 AM 540 WFLA. See you then.